सेल्फ डिपेंडेंट गट्टू चिंकी गट्टू एंड चिंकी केम होम फ्रॉम स्कूल जंपिंग एंड बाउंसिंग एंड एज सुन एज दे गॉट होम दे थ्रू देर बैग एंड लंच बॉक्सेज हेयर एंड देयर दे डिड नॉट इवन कीप देर शूज इन द रैक and both of their shoes were scattered on the doorway of the hall to the sofa as soon as they got home both of them sat down on the sofa oh shit feeling so tired mom please bring us some water mom was working in the kitchen wait for a while bringing both of them started talking while sitting on the sofa i'm very excited about tomorrow yes morning rally slogans flag hoisting it will be so much fun jai vande mataram mataram oh god my throat dried more mom bring us some water how long have we been shouting their mother brought water and both of them quickly picked up the glasses and drank the water in a moment When their mother looked around, she saw Gattu and Chinki's bags and shoes were scattered here and there. Poor mom, without saying anything, she picked up their shoes and kept them in the rack outside. Then after picking up both of their bags when she was going inside, Gattu said, "Mom, tomorrow is 15th August. You know that, right? Tomorrow we will dress up just like soldiers do. Our uniforms are ready, are they?" "Son, the washing machine is not working." But don't worry. Today I will wash and dry all your clothes, and then I will iron them at night. Gattu Chinki was surprised to hear this. What, Mom? The uniform should have been ready by today. It's monsoon time. If the uniform does not dry, then what will we wear tomorrow? Wash and dry our uniforms right now, kids. There's a lot of work in the kitchen. I will wash it later. No. First wash our uniforms and then do other things. Tomorrow is Independence Day. We do not want to take any risk. Mom left all the work as she had to wash and dry everyone's clothes. After a while, Dad came from office and he too sat on the sofa with Gattu Chinki. Mom came to the hall and saw a conversation was going on in the hall. Children, tomorrow is a big day. Our country got freedom on this day. and nothing is more important than freedom hey listen bring some tea will you make some tea for dad please i kept washing your clothes and got late i have to bring vegetables make dinner and there are so many other things to do what mom you make it yourself we haven't freshened up yet do one thing make some sandwiches along with tea i'm a little hungry what the poor mother would do She went into the kitchen and left all the work and started making tea and sandwiches. At 10:30 in the night, everyone sat down for dinner. What happened? It's half past 10. When will we sleep? When will we wake up? You know right, we have to go early tomorrow. Mother served food to everyone without saying anything. After eating, everyone went to their respective rooms and went straight to bed. Mom cleaned the kitchen. and until late night kept pressing gattu chinki and their dad's clothes next morning mother's eyes opened and seeing the time her head went dizzy it was 5 o'clock hey wake up it's 5 o'clock what did you turn off the alarm the alarm didn't even ring what you haven't even set the alarm hey i thought you might have set it shit man had to leave at 6 o'clock don't worry you get ready right away I'll take care of the kids. Everyone was running late. So there was a lot of hustle going on in their house. Their mother was running here and there feeling worried. Finally, it was 6 o'clock and dad managed to leave with Gattu Chinki. A rally took place in Gattu Chinki school at 6:30 a.m. Bharat Mata ki jai. Then after flag hoisting, the national anthem was played. and by noon the celebration at their school ended at 1 o'clock in the afternoon gattu chinki returned home with dad and after having dinner everyone started chatting in the hall what a wonderful speech colonel ma'am gave i liked it but i didn't understand one thing she was saying even till date we are not completely free we all are either slaves of someone or someone is our slave are we somebody's slaves to whom are we slaves and who are our slaves she asked us to find the answer to these questions dad who are we slaves to and who are our slaves no 
We are not slaves of anyone and no one is our slave. We are all free today. Mom, what do you think? Are we independent? Hearing the question, their mother who was sitting quietly until now suddenly said, "No kids, we are not completely independent." Colonel Mam was absolutely right. We are still someone's slaves. And even today some people are our slaves. We got freedom from the British, but this freedom is applicable on limited things because we are dependent on others even for some of our personal works too. Leaving the outer world, let's talk about our home. It's Gattu Chinki's job to keep their shoes and bags in the right place as soon as they get home from school. Instead of that, I have to find their shoes and bag and keep them in the right place. You have to get up early for the office and I have to set the alarm for that. If you turn off the alarm and go to sleep, I have to wake you up. I know they are children, but these kids don't even do those things that are good for themselves. Getting help is a far cry. As Colonel Mam said, you all are dependent on me. That means you all are slave to my help and and you do all our work without any payment. That's why you are our son. Do not speak further. Today we have realized our mistake. Only the country has become independent, not us and also not the women in our families. Knowingly or unknowingly, we treat women like slaves. We are dependent on women even for our small tasks. Until we do not eliminate this dependency, we cannot call ourselves independent. Dad, you're right. Sorry, Mom. We will become self-dependent from today itself. We will do our small tasks on our own, and neither we will become anyone's slave nor we will make anyone our slave. Our next slogan is: Our goal is to become self-dependent.